We're going to have a lecture, the Rural and Northern Immigration Pilot Program for the community of West Kootenai region in British Columbia. And here we are in the website. Basically, this is a new website that was launched recently. And you just gather all the information that you need to apply for recommendation for the West Kootenai region in British Columbia. We can see here, we can see the home page. We have a welcome information. Just tell us some information about the community and also the choices for applicants, information for applicants and information for employers. Also, we can continue with more information about the region and some links here that you can check details about different areas and communities in the region. Then you have the information about the pilot with the reference to the IRCC website. If we continue checking the website here, you can we we'll go to the next choice is the process and here we have the step that you need to do in order to apply for the rural immigration pilot program step one make sure you meet the IRCC federal eligibility requirements step two you need to find a full time and permanent employment in the West Kootenai region step three will be to check it to see if you are eligible based on the community criteria Step four will be ready, if you are ready to apply, what you need to gather. You need to submit the schedule one, a form, and all necessary documentation. Step six, your application will be reviewed by the Community Recommendation Committee. Your application will be reviewed by the Community Recommendation Committee. Step seven, the Community Recommendation Committee will give you the resource. Step eight, you can apply directly to IRCC for your permanent residency. In step nine, the Immigration, Refugees, and Citizenship Canada assesses your permanent residency application. And in step 10, once you receive your permanent residency, you can start your settlement process in the West Kootenai region. So basically, those are the 10 steps for the process overall. If we click in every of these, you're going to find links and more information about it. Here you can check the information that West Kootenai RNIP don't assist a candidate to get jobs. You're going to need to apply for a job with the employer. Okay? One of the requirements is that you have a job offer from a eligible employee in the West Kootenai region. And this is important to understand. It has to be a eligible employer. They need that employee has to be approved already by the pilot program in the in that region. If you don't have a job offer, you need to apply for a job offer that meet your past work experience and education. The employer will conduct normal hiring practices, such as social interviews and reference checks. And then you're going to have to fill out the offer of employment to a foreign national, fill out and sign by the labor employer, and it's your responsibility to load this form as part of your application. So these are the basic information that you need to keep in mind. You also need to understand that you meet the community criteria, because again, this is the base of what you're going to be evaluated by the committee. Once you're ready to apply, you need to download and complete the Schedule 1 Rural and Northern Immigration form. IMM5911E and then when you submit the form you need to include the job offer and other supporting documents okay you can you have to have the job offer the language credentials assessment the educational credential requirements the resume and any other supporting document that they ask you in the community criteria we're gonna check that later on they have to be copies remember they have to be copies and the originals are going to be used for the permanent resident application to IRCC. Then the committee will review your application against their criteria. If you're determined to meet the requirement, they will give a recommendation letter from the community via email. That's the way you're going to get the recommendation. And then with that documentation, you will be able to apply directly to the IRCC for your permanent residence. Again, you need to fulfill all the requirements for the application. and once that's done, you'll be able to apply for a one-year work permit. Once you get, you apply to a permanent residence, you'll be able to apply for your one-year work permit. And once you get the permanent residency, then you can start your settlement process in West Kootenai region. Okay, so this is uh, overall the steps. This is the timeline. Uh, basically, the application eligible for community recommendation will be retained for six months. So after six months, your application won't be no valid. You can reapply again. If you meet the requirements, of course. Um, 
you need to consider other points here or more information that you need to uh, understand. There's no special treatment because you are working with simulation representative and there's no preferential treatment. You need to have a job offer. You need to have an English, French language credential. You need to do the education. Without those three elements, your application won't be considered and will consider be treated as incomplete and you won't be able to meet the qualifications. So it's important that you understand that information. You will go to the applicant information. You can see the information here with the application process. Again, this is the step. They divide that in six steps. Number one, ensure that you meet the federal eligibility requirements. We know that already. Number two, you need to find full-time employment in the community. And for that, you're going to use two websites. You're going to check indie.ca or kudneyjobs.ca to find the jobs. And remember, the, the employer has to be registered with the program. Okay. And then you have here the immigration forms that you're going to need. Offer of employment and employment declaration form. You're going to need those two documents. Okay. You need to ensure that you meet the community-based criteria. And the criteria are here. We'll check that later. And you're going to complete the form. Here is the form. You can download it and complete it. You're going to submit the application. Remember, you're going to need the form, offer of employment form. Is fill out and signed by the employer. The language test resource, the work experience documentation, reference letters and pay stops, the educational assessment done by an agency approved by IRCC, and the employer declaration form. Okay, and if you have all everything, then you can just submit by clicking here. You can submit your application. While you submit your application, you can submit additional also information if, if you need to. And here you have the list of additional information that you can submit for your application. And it's a reminder here that you need those elements to be able to be considered for the application. So good. So far, so good. If you encounter an employer that is interested in get you a job here in the community, but they are not part of the pilot program, you can refer them to this part of the website when they can check all the information that they need to meet the requirements of the community and that way they can be able to register first and want to approve then they can extend your job offer if you're looking for employment here the qualifying jobs remember you can check these two websites and how to apply you need to follow the, this information here it's important that they say that the company does not provide job matching services. You don't send the resumes or cover letters to this website. The employers are the ones that are going to direct the hiring process with you. And the employer has to make sure they register and meet the requirements of the community. Okay? So that employer needs to be living in the area of the community, it cannot be outside the area. If we check the community criteria, then we can check here for the applicants. There's a community a criteria for applicants, for employers, and the overall criteria. So for the applicants, again, you need to meet the federal criteria. You need, you need to prove that you want to intend to live in the community. You need to have a Canadian language benchmark or CLB of four or higher in English or French. The wage offer in your offer of employment must exceed $22 per hour and must be above or within the range of wages for the particular occupation in the job bank for similar jobs in the region, okay? And you have to have the intention to reside in the community. Also, there's some exemptions. If the candidates who are currently working, studying, or residing in at least six months in the community will be exempt from the community-specific wage range criteria of 22 dollars per hour if the wage job offer is between 17 and 21.99 so if you already live in the community and you have a job that is paying you between 17 and 21 then you can still participate okay but you need to meet the requirement of the at least six months living in the community to apply for the west kudney rnip you need to submit your application in step five and be sure to follow the step one to six under the applicant tab before submitting. So be, be, be sure that you're fulfilling all these requirements. 
for the employer this is the requirement for the employers you can send this information to any employer so they understand what the requirements they want to participate in the program and want to offer you a job and for the community this is the information you can download that criteria but here we can see the information about family friends in the west Kidney region and here you have a spouse or partner that is a connection permanent resident or Canadian citizen that is living in the area for a minimum of one year that is that connection can provide you a written confirmation of their intent to assist the candidate in serving in the West Kidney area so if you have a connection it will be really helpful then you just need to submit a confirmation that they want to help you to stay there and that can help you too so when it comes to close family connection you have parents siblings and children then you get of the candidate or spouse common law you have four points okay so there's a maximum of two connections it's a maximum of eight overall and two per connection so medium family connection when you have grandparents and uncle of the candidate or spouse then each individual confirmed connection receive points two per connections maximum four points and then cousin niece nephews and friend of candidate of a spouse common law parent candidate you must be 22 years of order the friends must have no relation through blood adoption or marriage you get a maximum of one connection a maximum of two and then you have the second point living in or previous travel to west Courtney region and there candidates will be asked for proof that they reside in the region and if you travel then you need to provide tickets hotel stay and other documents here do you have another points from a and b may not be combined okay so it cannot be combined it can be it has to be either or the candidates residing in the west colony at the time of the application have been living here for a minimum of six months so you got 15 there or if you're a candidate that do not live in the region but you visit the region for at least one continuous week or more then you get five points okay work in the region if you work in the region in the three years prior to the application date or you currently has a job within the business in the area day of at least six months then you get 10 points the wage and NOC category of job offer again we talk about the $22 per hour you receive that job offer that meet the criteria then you can get a maximum of 15 points of course in the event of a yearly salary please indicate an hourly rate so based on the hourly rate okay you get one point here as an example one point for every additional two hours okay and the job offer an NOC 0 A or B you get 10 points if that's the case and in part C you will receive one point for every two years of work experience in the NOC code of the job that being offered. 20 years experience will be received 10 points. The maximum will be 10 points in this. Again, that's the criteria for the wages. For the age, if you are between 22 and 28 years old, you get five. Between 29 and 40, you get eight. 41, 50, you get six. And 50, over 51, you get only two points. If you have a driver's license, a Canadian driver's license, you get three points. If you have an international driver's license, you get two. Demonstration of proficiency of Eng in English and French. Again, you have the CLB here. Level four. Across all skills in both official languages, then you get up to four points. Candidate's spouse. Then you have a, several information about your spouse about been working in the region for at least six months then you can be able to get four points also if you have a valid job offer that's in the region you get three points if the candidate is living or has living in west county region for a minimum of one year in the last five years so you get three points a language skill you get to two points you have also another indication of language here for one more point and if the spouse have a driver's license they have three points here and in the asking of Canadian driver's license they have an international driver's license they get two points so the maximum is 100 points this is the criteria that you're gonna be calculating in order to see how many points you can score and then you have information about the intake time 
we talked about the six months uh, previously. Uh, you can have an interview between 15 and 30 minutes, video conference interview. But if you're living in the in the community, probably you can do an in-person interview as well. So that's the information for the candidates. Let's take a look at some freaking questions. You have the questions about the community, you can find it. The community, one of the communities was Nelson area, the Castlegar area, and the Terra Rosland and surrounding area. And you can click and get information. What is the industry? And he mentioned the industry, the mining, metallurgic, forestry, manufacturing, healthcare, transportation, construction, education, technology. So these are the main industry in the region. How do I get a job? Again, you need, you need to check those two websites for job applications. How do I hire someone through the program? Again, you can get an email for more information with the employer. If your employer needs information, this is the link you want to give to the employer. And this is a step that you saw before. And finally, this is the way you check the information about from IRCC. Here are more links that you might need in order for your application, but basically that's the whole website. And if you go here to the applicant, when you have everything ready, you can submit your application right here. And it's gonna be the email address that you're gonna have okay so i hope you enjoyed this lecture and we'll see you in the next one thank you very much